Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Apple event is next week and apart from the new devices that may come, I'm also excited about the iPadOS 15 release. And oh my god, now we have keyboard shortcuts for multitasking. If you've been here in my channel, you will know I love keyboard shortcuts. iPadOS 15 is coming really really soon, like next week I think, but I was so excited to see it for myself, so I installed the iPadOS 15 beta here on my iPad Air 3. Now in this video, let's deep dive on the keyboard shortcuts to do multitasking on the iPad. These shortcuts, if you manage to remember everything, will make you go around your iPad without touching the screen. So here's a rundown of my favorites and brace yourself because I like a lot of these shortcuts. It just takes time to get used to it. When I have an app opened in full screen and I want to open a new app in split screen, I do the globe icon plus control and either the right or left arrow key. This will put the app aside literally to either right or left. Then I can click the app I want to open and it will be in split screen. What's cool and another way to open split screen, again, do the globe control and arrow right or left and it will put aside the main app and then it will allow you to open split screen by doing command and space key to search for any apps, whether it's not on the dock or you just don't want to touch the screen. Then once you hit enter and it will be in split screen. Here's one last way to do split screen. Again, the shortcut is the globe icon, control, and either right or left key. Then you can use the tab or the arrow up and down, left and right, to select the app on the screen or on the dock, and then hit on enter, and that will uh, display the app in split screen. Then if I want to go back to full screen mode, I can do the globe plus F. Seriously, I'm loving these shortcuts. When in split screen, I just need to make sure I am on the right app, so I check it by doing command and tab, and then I can switch to the app I want to view in full screen. Again, I do the globe plus F, and now I'm in full screen. Next shortcut, if I want to go to my previous apps, before I have to do the command or tab, or swipe at the bottom of the screen. But now we can do globe, plus left and right to switch around the previously opened apps. Another way that I can switch apps is to show the app switcher, which is by the globe and up arrow key. In here, I can use the arrow keys to select the window I want to choose. The highlight on the selected window is quite subtle, but if you use it yourself, you will see it. I can move between the apps by using the left and right arrow keys to choose what app I want to open. And to move the cursor to the dock, press tab and the highlight will move to that area. And tab again to go back to the open apps choices. Now let's move on to slide over screen. What I like to do is pick an app first from the dock. And I can do that by pressing on the globe plus A to show the dock. But I have to open the app first in full screen. Then to do split screen, I can do the globe plus the option key, then either left and right arrow key. It will hide the app to get it ready for slide over screen. If I want to hide the slide over screen, I can do globe plus backslash key. And now there is this new arrow slash a guide that indicates there is a slides over screen hiding and waiting for me to open it again. To show the slide over screen, I can do again the globe plus backslash. It's the same shortcut as hiding it. And if I want to move it to the left or right side, I can do the globe and option and then either left and right.
in this wireless magic keyboard we have the brightness control and volume controls available but if for some reason you want to do it from the control center you can do it by the globe and C combination however what I notice is that I cannot go around the options when I press on the arrow key or even the tab key I don't know if this is really not available or it's just not working now that we're still on the iPad OS 15 beta version. Let's see when the real one comes out. I can also go to the notification center by doing globe plus N. But again, the arrow key or tab key does not work same as in the control center. So for now, I need to touch and reach out on the screen or use the mouse to click on some of the options. Next one, it's a new feature brought by the iPad OS 15, and it is Quick Note. Quick Note is um, to take quick notes. <laughs> and also, now we have a shortcut for this. The shortcut is Globe plus Q, and this will pop up that small window from the lower right corner. You see the icon that says Add Link here? So Apple says that if you highlight something from Safari, for example, and then you click on this add link button, if you go out and then go back to Safari on that page, you will see this reminder that there's a quick note and the highlighted part will remain there in Safari. Here's an example where I scrolled up on the web page going away from the highlighted text that I just did. And then when I tap on the quick note and that add link that I just did, it will bring me directly to the highlighted area in Safari. Really awesome. So the main thing on how you can learn about all these shortcuts is to press and hold on the globe key. The globe key here is the star. If you press only once, this will show the option to change the languages or to use emojis or won't do anything at all depends on where you are on the iPad. So press and hold to make the shortcuts work. I tested this on my Logitech K380 and K480, but the shortcuts don't work. Both have the key for the globe, which works when changing languages or for emojis but when I press and hold on to it, it doesn't show the shortcuts menu and the multitasking shortcuts don't work. So this multitasking keyboard shortcuts are not working on the Logitech keyboards, at least for my initial testings. And for anyone who knows if this works or how to do it, share it in the comment section down below. But for me, I think this multitasking shortcuts only work on the Magic Keyboard. This multitasking shortcuts also work on the home screen and I really love it. I can go to the Notification Center by the Globe and N shortcut or to the Control Center by the Globe and C shortcut or go to the App Library by the Globe Shift and A. And I can even open Quick Notes from the home screen. It's really great. And one more thing. One more thing. From the home screen, to go to the app switcher, do the shortcut globe plus the arrow up key. And now we can see all the opened apps, including the slide over screens. This wasn't available in the current iPadOS 14. Last thing. One more thing. And I promise, this is the last. It has nothing to do with the shortcuts, but it's a new feature in the app switcher is that we can now drag apps to make split screens or remove apps from split screen. Really great. So hope you enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed discovering all these new shortcuts. I'll have to practice more though so I can memorize all these combinations and do these shortcuts. Stay tuned for more iPad OS 15 videos coming soon and of course as soon as it's out. And that's it. Thanks for watching.